Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. In this video, I'm going to show you the new features coming in Camera Bag version 2021.5. Um, and the main banner feature of this is this new uh, composite image adjustment, and it's in the photographic section here. And composite image, uh, as the name suggests, lets you composite any image on top of your current image. And nothing's showing up yet because I haven't chosen the file that I want it to um, composite over this image of this red rock formation. But if I click on this file field thing, then I can choose an image and let's say, let's choose these clouds. And you can see it's um, the with the current blend mode, it's uh, not totally apparent what's going on here. But um, with this cloud image that I've chosen, if I go to standard, you can see what the cloud image actually is. But using this blend mode overlay, I can choose these different Photoshop style blend modes to determine how I want the composited image to be blended with the underlying image. And there's an opacity slider. So even on standard blend mode, I can get sort of a 50-50 blend between these two images. Um, but a lot of these look best with it at 100% like this screen blend mode. And so, um, if I select the composite image tile, I can drag this around however I want, um, and I can resize it or whatever. And this rectangle, the image will always be scaled. The, the composited over the top image will always be scaled to fill rather than fit this rectangle. And so, um, if this rectangle is set to the bounds of my source image, um, then it will fill the whole source image and um, anyway you can position it or resize it or whatever however you like um, so it's neat for like double exposure effects you can also do cool things with um, like if you have a picture of like say a paper texture or something you can add texture to your images using this one thing that's kind of fun to do is just to take the exact same image that you already have and overlay that and you can do some cool things if you like say you offset it a little bit and then maybe i'll blur the image underneath let me zoom in so we can see what's going on here Add a little bit of blurring to that and then you can make some kind of surreal sort of uh out of focus double exposure kind of things that can be um some kind of neat artwork um now the other thing that uh we added blend modes to is the text overlay so um, here's our standard text overlay um, let's choose a cooler font uh, just arrowing through these there we go slightly cooler font um, and with this text overlay if i choose the advanced control to be blend mode then i have those same blend modes that i had in the image um, Com the composite image adjustment and so like uh you know you can still adjust the color and this will do different things depending on the color so if this is mostly black it will do these sorts of things um and if it's a color then that will affect things differently so it's basically you just play around with it till you get the look that you want but um it's kind of powerful to be able to have uh, text blended in kind of whatever sort of uh, manner you want um, for any of your text over your images. So uh, we're excited to see what people produce. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that you can unlock with, uh, with these uh, composite images and with um, more advanced text overlays with blend modes. So we hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks.